What's up guys, I know it's 11, but it's like 10 o'clock at night, and I really should be asleep. I know that, but you know, there's been a lot on my mind all fucking day. And one of the things that's been on my mind is the fact that nobody is fucking helping me out with my shit like I've been telling you guys to do. You know, like, I need a serious street team, guys. I can't be doing this shit on my fucking own anymore. Like, you guys don't get it. Like, you know, you guys sit there and say, oh, I'll help out, I'll help out. Well, if you guys are helping me out, why aren't you guys tagging me and everything? That way my stuff's getting out there. I mean, you guys sit there and fucking say that you guys are promoting my shit. Well, if you guys are, where the fuck is it? Where's, like, why are you guys not fucking tagging me and my stuff? Sorry for I'm sounding stuffed up. It is a little stuffy in here. But seriously, guys. If you guys want to really make it in music, I need you guys to stop making excuses as to why you can't do it and make a solution as to how you can do it. How can you help? What can you do to get a lot of promotion and get people checking my stuff out? I mean, you guys got links. And so everything, my Battle Me app profile, you guys got access into my fucking YouTube, my SoundCloud. You guys got fucking access to all the social media that I have. And yet, I don't see a single one of you guys fucking pushing or promoting anything. I mean, really the only one who's even remotely, and I mean remotely, trying to fucking help are really, really super close friends of mine, like Angel and everybody like her. They're the only ones who are fucking doing anything. And speaking of Angel, what's up, Angel? Like, you know, I can honestly say that Angel's really the only one anymore, aside from my very, like, my number one fan, Snowbell, and a few others, like very, very few others who are truly helping out. Like, seriously, like, all the rest of you guys, where the fuck are you when I need you? And you guys sit here and wonder why I want to consider leaving music? Gee, there's a fucking reason. It's because nobody aside from Angel and a few others are truly trying to help me out to help me get some from somewhere. Like, you know, if you guys truly gave a fuck about my career and what I want to do, and how I want, like, you know, how I want to change the music industry as a whole to make things easier for people, Y'all be jumping on board and fucking helping out. But it's apparent to me that not a single one of you, aside from Angel and a few other, a very select few others. And those of you that are trying to help, you guys know who you are. But as for the rest of you guys, where the fuck are you when I need you guys to be promoting my stuff? I shouldn't have to sit here and ride your asses all day long. I mean, seriously. Like, for real. Hey, what up, guys? We also do have a legend on the stream right now, a very good friend of mine who is an amazing artist. I'd like you guys to welcome Seth Robinson, a.k.a. Mr. Degenerate. What's up, dude? 
If you guys haven't checked this stuff out yet, definitely do it, man. Like, for sure. Like, definitely check out Degenerate stuff. He's got some amazing fucking music. I know I've been a long-time fan. You know, amazing work. Definitely check out his stuff, like, for fucking sure, dude. He's got some great, great music. And if you guys are into the whole underground scene, I know you guys will love his shit, like, for sure. But, you know, I'm sitting here, you know, promoting everybody, and yet nobody even thinks twice about even helping me out. And one thing you guys, you know, don't realize is that even when I set up a simple, cheap online store for you guys to buy some custom-made merchandise from me, from like, you know, I do make my own custom merchandise. And yet, nobody buys the shit or is willing to help out because I always get the fucking excuse. Oh, I don't have money. Oh, it's too expensive. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I want to, but I can't. And yet, nobody buys a single thing when they say they're going to try to. Like, you guys don't know how much that shit helps me out. I mean, I kid you not, guys. When I'm not sitting here recording my music and doing what I do, you know, I'm constantly promoting. Even when I'm on, when I'm doing fucking gameplay footage, I'm promoting my music through my YouTube channel for my gaming channel. And when I'm sitting there kicking it with my friends on Call of Duty Black Ops 1 online, and I'm on the mic, I'm usually kicking in with them and promoting my stuff on there as well to everybody else. I mean, literally, that's what I fucking do. I sit there for about three, four hours a day alone just promoting my shit, just getting people into it. And yet, it seems like I'm the only one along with Angel... And like I said, Snowbell and a very select few others who aren't truly doing anything to, you know, push what I want to do seriously. I mean, yes, there are others like my boy Ian and you guys already know my manager and best friend Zach, a.k.a. Possessed One, as his professional artist name. And just very, very select handful of people that are truly hell trying to help. And not much, Seth, man. Hey, speaking of which, dude, you got any new music coming out or what, bro? But, I mean, you guys who, you know, do listen to my music and are promoting... You know, you guys need to stop making excuses as to why you can't help and think of a way of how you can help. Because maybe there's a way that you have that nobody's tried yet. Well, yeah. Those of us who are truly, you know, trying, like Angel and like I said before, everybody who is truly trying to help out, we're getting sick and tired of doing it on our own, guys. We need fucking help to get my stuff out there. Because if you guys have not checked out my Battle Me profile, um, you know, you guys can go to my timeline. I'm always posting up there lately. Like, legit, I'm always post I'm posting up new battle tracks to, you know, battle people with on there to, you know, help me practice my stuff. Along with, you know, regular songs. Like, my latest song, We Need a Change, that's basically about the world as a whole. You know, like, it's basically about the world 
today and like how we do need you know the song itself is basically about you know how we do need to make the change in the world and if we stopped realizing how different we are and paid more attention to how alike we are in every aspect that things would be a little bit better for all of us in general so and it's a very heavy song like you know, because in that song, you know, I did speak about how, you know, because I do have friends and family that have served in the military and still do. And how a lot of the times when I'm watching the news, you know, I'll see a very good friend of mine has, you know, died. And, you know, I'll sit there and I'll see them being carried away from a battle zone and it's it's hard to watch so you know i do touch on very serious subjects um i did touch on the base fact that you know labels and everybody in general do like to bash on me that's a very huge topic for me on the battle me out because people thinking that they can you know knock me and what i do when really they can't touch me because anything they gotta say to me it's like i say in a lot of my songs anything that they can say to me it doesn't phase me at all like whatsoever so that's a very huge topic for me um i have talked about how i was born with one kidney and one and a half lungs and how i shouldn't have lived past birth you know i did touch on that subject which for me, it was the hardest thing to do because I've never really spoken about that until just recently. And, dude, that's awesome, Seth. I'm definitely going to have to check your stuff out after I hop off here, dude. And I'm going to tell you something that I've been told before, and it's completely true. You need to say, fuck the haters, and keep doing what you do best, sis. Like, I know you're on the verge of giving up, but you can't, because giving up is what they want you to do. Don't give them what they want. Keep on pushing and fighting for what you want. Hold on, guys. Oh, uh, never mind. Sorry, I thought the freaking smoke alarms went off. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But it turned out it was just warning me that it was low. I am going to have to let mom know about that. But in all honesty, guys... Like, I do know that the huge reason as to why I'm not getting as much promotion is because, yes, I did do a diss track on Stephen Hobbs a while back. But honestly, I feel he kind of deserved it after that comment and post he made about the transgender community. Because to him, it may have been a joke. But to a lot of people I know that are gay, that are transgender, that are lesbian, that are bisexual... The you know are within the gay and the LGBT spectrum in general, they took serious offense to that. Oh hell yeah, dude! I fucking love that song. That actually right there, dude, is like the song that keeps me pumping, dude. Like that's the first song that I heard by by you that got me fucking hooked, man. Like, that's the freaking song that got me going and listening to your shit, dude. Like, I listen to that shit, like, all fucking day long, dude. Like, I kid you not. I've got that. As a matter of fact, whenever I play um, Need for Speed Carbon on my fucking Wii or, like, any racing games in general, that's, like, the first song I fucking pop on every fucking time I'm racing, dude. Like, that's my fucking jam right there.
As a matter of fact, um, once I can get my computer back up and running, I'll be able to do stuff properly again. I actually am going to be promoting that song for you, dude. Like, I've been meaning to do that, but with my computer being out of commission right now at this point, I really can't do much. But like I said, man, as soon as I get my computer up and going, I'm pushing that song like a motherfucker. To anybody who has not checked out this dude's stuff, definitely do it. Look up Mr. Degenerate and definitely check out the song Who Am I? Like, it definitely is, you know, a great fucking song. Like, for sure. It's actually one of my favorites, honestly. Like, you know, I've been really good friends with Seth here for quite some time now. Like, he's really good. Great music in general. Fucking love your music, dude. You know, like I always say, man, keep on pumping that shit out and see where it goes. But for those of you that don't know Mr. Degenerate, check his shit out, like, for real. The dude's an underground artist, but he's got some of the best music you could ever fucking, you know, hear straight up. The dude does rock and rap style shit. He does straight up, like, he kills it. Hey, no problem, dude. It's like I told you before, man. You're family, dude. And I do anything for family. You know that. But, you know. And, you know, and I agree with both Seth and Angel on this next point, which is I am sick to death. And fucking tired of, you know, being stepped on by everybody and used as a fucking stepping stone. You know, like, I'm tired of being that dude that everybody steps on when people don't realize that, you know, I do want to run my own label. But in order to do that and to help people like myself who don't have any money, I need you guys to, you know, not only buy my shit, but check it out and spread it around to those who you know very well will actually buy my stuff and not just sit there and talk about it, but who will be about it and actually help me out. Because you guys don't realize, like, I checked it out and I do only need about 10 bucks to, you know, promote and grow my label and to really get it out there. Like, you know, I have, you know, studied it on how to do it. I know what I'm doing with it. But in order to do that, I need at least 10 bucks to get it going. And you guys know the ways that you can freaking donate, man. Like, you guys can buy merchandise from me. You, you guys know I still have my fucking Dizzy Jam up. You guys can fucking get a full album for free download with the purchase of fucking $10 with a hat. Or 40 with a hoodie and the deluxe edition of Urban Warfare. Like, seriously, you guys can fucking help out in so many ways, but yet nobody fucking chooses to do, to do a damn thing at all like I mean I even promoted my own music through my gaming channel and if you guys have not checked out my gaming channel um, check out DK Customs on YouTube um, I will actually wind up posting the link to it in the comments on this or in the description or somewhere dealing with this so if you have not checked out my YouTube gaming channel yet, definitely hit that up. Um, I am going to be posting up the latest video later on tonight that I had done today. The reason why I didn't do it today is because, you know, I wound up passing out and, you know, because of the freaking weather, it's fucking changing like a motherfucker. So I haven't really been able to, you know, get the energy I usually have to do anything. But if you guys have been wondering why I'm not doing much during the day, 
is actually because here lately, I don't know why, but I've been sleeping a lot during the daytime. I don't know why. But point being, guys, you guys need to stop making excuses as to how you can't help me. And like I said, I shouldn't have to tell you guys to fucking help me all the fucking time. Like, I shouldn't have to sit here and baby you guys and tell you this shit. If you guys like my stuff that much, you guys should automatically be promoting it. Like, seriously. Like, I do this shit with Angel and a few, very few select others on my own every fucking day. Like, I'm tired of the fucking excuses, guys. But, you know, I push my shit every fuck, like, every fucking day. Like, I'm always posting up something music-wise, especially through the Battle Me app lately. The reason why I'm pushing that the most lately is because that seems to be, you know, my medium where a lot of my raps and what I do is actually gaining ground and respect. Especially with everything that I talk about, you know. And, of course, you know, I've had, you can also, if you're not checking it out, do it. Great app, awesome shit. Um, you can actually win and lose battles on there. You know, I've only lost, I think, like, two battles and one two, so I'm pretty even on shit. Or no, I've lost three battles and one two so far, so, like, you know, I'm doing pretty good. And, you know, you can win tournaments on there, you can fucking, you know, buy stuff on there with the money that you earn from people on there, so it's a really good thing. So, you know, I've been doing my thing on there and ripping it up on the mic through that until I can get back on my computer and start recording correctly again. But, you know, like... I mean, even with that, you guys can promote my stuff. Like, you guys can promote that as well if you guys wanted to. Like, for real. Like, I'm so sick and tired of the fake-ass people. Like, you know... I fucking promote my shit. Like, you know, I do all this shit on my own with a very select few others every day, and I'm tired of the excuses, guys. I really am. You guys know every single fucking way under the sun to help me out. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you guys can buy stuff from me. You guys can promote my stuff. You guys can post about it on all kinds of social media. You guys can promote all my shops that I've got up. Like, you guys know every single fucking way that you can help. And I'm tired of everybody saying, oh, I can't afford this and afford that. Why do you think I make this shit so cheap for you guys? That way you guys can afford to buy my shit. I mean, honestly, guys, I do want to start up my own independent record label and change the music industry for people like myself who are special needs. But, you know, in order to do that, you know, like I said, I need you guys to either buy my shit or you know, promote my stuff to somebody that will be willing to buy or donate or help out in some way.
Like, you know, I mean, and the reason why I'm getting on you guys' asses is because I got all these fucking record labels who are always talking shit, saying that I don't have what it takes to make it. Yeah, it's true, I might not have that much business experience, but I've got just enough to know to get by to where I can actually hold my own when running things. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't take business classes back in high school, it's because they did not allow for it at that time. Well, they did allow for it, but I didn't have that available for my class at that time because by the time I wanted to take business class, you know, it was too late. They didn't have it available for seniors. It was only for like, I think freshman up through junior or sophomore. And so like, it sucks. It really does. Like I was not able to take it because I would have had extra classes if I had taken business class. But you know, like I told you guys, everything I did, Everything I do, everything from the shops, the songs, the music that I put out, the cover art, all that shit, everything is done by me on my own. I have no help doing that shit whatsoever. Everything I know now, musically, business-wise, you know, art-wise, everything, I've learned on my own since day one. I've had no help, but now I need the help, like bad and not speaking bad upon those that do help me out I'm speaking bad upon those that don't help out like I'm tired of the motherfucking excuses guys like seriously I'm tired of the fucking excuses as to why you guys can't promote or buy shit. Like, I'm fucking tired of it, guys. Like, come on. Like, dude, I got a fucking Rage On shop. Which, I don't it's a little expensive. But, you know what? It's something to help promote. I got fun shirts on there for everybody who I will admit. You know, my good friend Danny Poison. Who is a former, is actually the former head artist of Ubisoft Studios to, you know, help out with some of the designs. And I will be working with him very soon. He's actually working on getting his own game company up and going. So I am going to be working for him here real soon, which I'm honestly excited for. And if you guys don't know what games Danny has done, you know artwork for like he's done everything from Prince of Persia um, Assassin's Creed which is one of my favorite game series I fucking love Assassin's Creed um, he's done all the games for Tomb Raider um, he's done Sean White snowboarding Sean White skateboarding um, you know he's done like all the games that have Ubisoft in them I guarantee you he's had something to do with so, you know, have a major dude like that, you know, wanting to bring me on board for, you know, my voice acting, my music, and everything like that. That's a real huge deal for me. So, you know, I definitely do look forward to, you know, working with Danny. Like, he's a really good friend of mine. We've become really close. You know, he's an amazing dude overall. The dude's fucking awesome. You know, he's very laid back. And honestly, that's another thing that, you know, is really pissing me off is everybody using me to get to the people that I know personally that are, you know, famous, whether they're a music artist, an athlete, or a voice actor, or whoever, you know, like, I'm getting tired of it. Because, yes, I've got several, you know, very good friends who are very big in the music industry, like, you guys already know. My best friend, Matt, also known as PFV. I went to high school with the guy, an amazing dude overall, you know. 
Like, I know him, Cryptic Wisdom, uh, Lil Scam. Um, I even know a few bands like Sandcat, who I've actually known since high school because I was best friends with their now past bass player, David. So, you know, shout out to Sandra and, you know, my friends of the band Sandcat. What up, guys? Love y'all. Hope y'all are doing good. So, shout out to you guys. Um, I know the band Spence personally, amazing dudes overall. You know, I even know, you know, some actual, you know, really huge old school cat DJs that I never thought I'd get to work with, honestly. Like, you know, I managed to meet a lot of people, and the reason why I said athletes in that last statement is actually because I know this might sound crazy, but it's totally true. But I actually wound up by random finding the real Randy Orton's Facebook profile through surprisingly an ex of mine. And at first I didn't want to believe it was him, but if you take a look at his post, it's actually him. So, you know, I can honestly say I've gotten to talk to Randy. You know, amazing guy overall. Like, he's very awesome, very laid back, really cool guy. You know, very supportive in everything I do. So, you know, it's definitely, you know, awesome to have, you know, somebody of that magnitude to say I actually know. You know, the dude's very nice, very chill and laid back. You know, he's an amazing dude overall. He's honestly one of the nicest guys I think I've talked to that's actually... You know, that huge. I mean, I've talked to people that are, you know, of that magnitude before, like uh, Mike Shinoda from Lincoln Park. Um, I actually had the opportunity to sit down and do a live um, Google Hangouts with Lincoln Park not that long ago before, sadly, Chester had passed away. And even though it was just by Google Hangouts, you know, like, I still got to hang with them in some way, and honestly, like, there's the coolest guys you could ever want to meet, and do I still miss Chester, and am I still upset about what happened? Of course. Like I said, you know, Chester was definitely, you know, one of my idols. He was one of my icons that, you know, he was like a hero to me, and you know, and always will be, you know, he's actually a very big reason as to why I'm doing music now, and always have done music, but the point being, guys, whether I know these famous people or not, like, you guys don't need to be fucking leeching on to me like that, like, not saying that a lot of you are, but I do know some out there that do do that, who do leech on me just because I know these people, like, you know, the shit needs to stop. Like, I'm not a tool for you to guys to get in contact with them. No, I'm not going to con get you in contact with them if I see that, you know, you're just trying to, you know, say, hey, I know this person that knows these guys. I mean, unless you guys are wanting, like, a series, like, series about, like, you know, wanting an autograph or, like, wanting to work with them. And if you guys are just in it to say, hey, I know, if you guys are asking me just because you want to say, hey, I got to talk to this person or I know this guy, that shit ain't going to fly with me. Like, I don't fuck with fakes like that. I never have. And honestly, I'm tired of being fucking played by everybody. Like, you guys don't see the time and the effort that I put into every fucking thing I do every day. Like, I kid you not, guys, these last few nights, I've gone on, I want to say, like, only four to five hours of sleep, if that. Like, and after that, you know, I'm right up, working on my shit, writing stuff, promoting stuff, recording stuff, every fucking day of my life, since 2010. I have been doing this on my fucking own, and I'm tired of doing it on my own, guys. I need help. I need to make an income off of this. Alright? Music is my life. This is my livelihood. This is what I want to do with my life. But unless 
you guys step the fuck up and start helping out on your fucking own without me having to fucking say anything to you guys, then how the fuck is that supposed to happen? If you guys truly believe in what I want to do and like what I'm trying to do, then you guys need to fucking find a way to help out. Whether it be through promoting or buying off my one of my two shops, which you guys fucking can do. I got two fucking shops on there that you guys can buy from, both Dizzy Jam and fucking Rage On. I got two different fucking stores you guys can buy from, along with Lulu.com where I put out, you know, my artwork calendars and, you know, a lot of my artwork guys. So, I mean, all in all, you know, you guys got three different things that you can buy. And yet, not one red cent is being donated or used to help me out. Like, seriously. The ways that you guys can help out is either by promoting my stuff or buying my stuff. I've shared my links a ton of fucking times already. And I mean a ton of times. They're all over my social media. You guys can go to any of my fucking social media that I have. And I guarantee you, you guys will find something there. I guarantee you. So instead of making excuses, you guys need to stop that shit and start making solutions. If you guys truly enjoy my shit, prove it. Prove it to me by promoting it on your own, by buying my stuff, by helping me out. Because you know something, I do want to prove these record labels wrong. And with you guys not doing any of that, how am I supposed to fucking do anything? Alright? Like, seriously. I know I might not sound that upset, but believe me, I'm beyond, beyond, beyond pissed the fuck off. Like, I'm very, like, beyond pissed off. I'm very stressed out because of all this, guys. Like, you know, my goal is to create a record label to help people like myself who are special needs, who are interested in doing music, become serious artists and become independent. Like, that's what I want for people like myself. Like, you know, you guys don't see just how hard I push my shit every day. Like, you know, I'm tired of these record labels bashing on me and bad mouthing me every fucking day. Like, and in order to shut them up and prove them wrong, I need you guys to help me out. And if you guys have seen the TV show Bar Rescue, you guys know exactly where I'm going with this statement, which is I don't embrace excuses. I embrace solutions. Like, and it's completely true. I'm sick of the excuses. I want results. I want solutions, not excuses. Like, you know, I bust my ass every day for you guys to bring you guys good music. The least y'all could do in return is fucking help me out like Angel and very few others have actually done. Like, seriously, you guys sit there and say, oh, my stuff's too expensive or, oh, it's, you know, 
Like, I can't afford it. That's fucking bullshit, and you know it. Y'all just want my shit for free, and it's not going to fucking happen. I've been walked on enough. Enough is enough. I'm not some fucking stepping stone you guys can fucking step on. This is a serious business to me. This is my fucking livelihood. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. till I'm dead in the fucking ground. And yes, on this side, I'm still going to do my CGI animated, you know, YouTube series. And shit like that, I am going to be doing that. But my main primary goal, my main objective, my main goal is to fucking make it in the music industry as an independent artist. And without your guys' fucking help, you know, I can't fucking do that. I'm tired of the excuses, guys. We need to stop making excuses and start coming up with solutions and start coming up with fucking results out of my shit. I'm tired of just sitting here doing this shit and feeling like I'm not getting anywhere. I'm tired of that feeling. We need something to fucking change, guys. And that change needs to be, y'all need to start promoting my shit. Y'all need to start buying my shit if you guys truly support it. And start spreading it around to those that you know will continue that same pattern. That's the solution to this all. Is you guys buying and promoting my shit. I mean, yeah, $10 might seem like a lot. But think about it. When you guys go to my shit, when you guys go to my Dizzy Jam store and you guys buy a, a hat for $10 or you guys buy a hoodie for 40 you guys are not only getting, you know, that item, but you guys are also getting the deluxe full edition of my dubstep album, Urban Warfare. It includes 10 songs done by me as well as a couple bonus tracks by my good friend. And, you know, a brother who's also my manager, Zach, also known as Possessed One. Like, you know, that's the solution to this, all you guys doing all that. I'm tired of being fucking stepped on, guys. If you guys truly love what I do, it's time y'all start fucking acting like it. And started fucking being about it. I shouldn't have to sit here and tell you guys to do this shit. You guys are supposed to be my fucking street team. You guys are supposed to be helping me out. I know that you guys don't get much out of it, and I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I'm not rich. All right? Like, you know, I'm tired of being fucking stepped on by everybody. Like, you know, music is what I do. It's what I love. And, you know, I feel as if, you know, anymore nobody gives a, a single fuck about my music and what I do. Because, you know, something I don't see anybody posting up my stuff anymore. I don't see anybody even attempting or asking prices on my stuff. I don't see anybody sharing my stuff to any social any social media on their own anymore. But, you know, like I said, guys, I promise you guys, I will keep on doing music if you guys start coming up with solutions. I can't be doing this on my fucking own anymore, guys. And I promise you all that the minute that I do start making money off of it at a steady pace, I am going to repay you guys. 
I promise you that. I am going to do something for you guys. I'm not that kind of guy that expects you guys to help me out and then just throws you guys away with that. No. I'm going to do something for you guys as soon as I can. But in order for that to happen, guys, I need you guys to start helping me out, please. Start spreading my stuff around like a wildfire to any and all social media that you can. You know, start getting people to buy my stuff. And if you can, buy my stuff. And like I said before, and if you can't afford anything at that time, I understand. But you do need to start sharing the stuff to people who you know will actually buy my merchandise and help me out. With that being said, guys, I hope to see more promotions and stuff from you guys on all social media. Um, if you guys go to my YouTube channels, like any of my YouTube channels, actually, I have all my info on all of those. So you guys can go there and check all that out. But with that being said, guys, this has been Chance, and I will see you guys later, man. Peace.